So let's try another example of a hypothesis test question for a mean. And this time around, we're going to look at teacher salaries. And a teacher's union wants to establish that the average salary for high school teachers in a particular province is less than 32500 They took a random sample of 100 teachers and found a mean salary of 31578 And they know from past history that the standard deviation of the salaries is 4415 And they want to test the union's claim at the 5% level of significance. So let's go through some of our questions. Is this a hypothesis test? And if so, why? Well, what we can do is we can take a look at the terminology. So test the union's claim, two keywords, test and claim. And then also we have level of significance. So definitely we have terminology that indicates a hypothesis test. What type of random variable are we gonna be looking at? Well, if we look at the question again, we have average salary. So an average salary, that's going to be a mean salary. So we're analyzing means. We're going to need to look for population information. And remember, population information is what is the status quo, what's currently accepted. So for us, let's try and find the status quo. So from the past history, the standard deviation was 4,415. And the union is trying to test that the actual salary is less than what's currently accepted, 32,500. So there's our population center, mu, and our population spread, sigma. And then finally, we're going to look for our sample information. And here we're going to find our keyword for sample. So sample of 100 teachers, mean salary of 31,578. So that's our sample information. N is 100, and X bar is 31,578. And remember, if we have a mean value mentioned in the same sentence as a, something that says a sample, this is going to be our sample mean. So let's go ahead now and try and solve this problem. So there's our population and sample information at the top for easy reference. Let's formulate our hypotheses. So currently, the null hypothesis states that the mean salary is 32,500. And the union wants to show that it's actually less than that. So the test we're doing is that the mu is actually less than 32,500. So please notice the population parameter is in both, the population value is in both, the equal is in the null hypothesis, and the type of test is in the alternative. Let's move on to our model now. And we have a one-tail test, it's a less than test. We're told that the alpha is 5%, straight from the question. And now we can look up our z-critical, look up this alpha, and we can see a z-critical is negative 1645. A diagram of our test would be that we'd have this little tail on the left, that would be our reject region, and the bigger area on the right is our fail to reject region. Putting some information on our model now, our center is 32,500. Our alpha is this little red area here, 05, and our z-critical, negative 1645. Let's move on now to our calculation phase. And in the calculations, z-calculated, point of interest, minus center, divided by spread. Let's plug in our values. Point of interest is our sample mean. Center is our population mean. And then the spread is the population standard deviation, over root n. And we get rounded to two decimal places, negative 209. And remember, we rounded to two decimal places because that's what our tables read to. We now need to look up a p-value for this z calculated. We have to remember, though, that we have a less than test. And by definition, for a left tail test, we can recall that the p-value is the area to the left of z calculated. This was in some previous notes. We look up our, our z calculated of negative 209, and we can read that the area to the left of that is 0 0.0183. Please note, this is an area, the 0183, this is a z score up here. So overall, our p-value is 0 0.0183. The rule we'll be testing is that if our p-value is small enough, in other words, if our p-value is less than our alpha value, we're gonna reject our null hypothesis. So let's go over to our decision and conclusion phase. So our critical value approach, our Z calculated is negative 209. It's definitely gonna be over here somewhere. So we're in the reject region.
and here it is. I've sort of made it ex exaggerated a bit, but we're in the reject region. We then have our p-value approach. Our p-value of 0183 is for all intents and purposes almost zero, and that is indeed less than our alpha of 05, so we can reject H0. Then our overall conclusion statement, here's the three components. At the 5% level of significance, there appears to be enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis. So it does appear that the teacher's salary in a sample of 100 may be less than the 32,500. So maybe the union has some, um, some data to prove that, well, you know what? The mean salaries are a bit lower. Maybe we really need to negotiate a few things. So hopefully that's given you a good example of a hypothesis test question for a mean. Thanks.